guys, let's take a quick look here at Filecoin. Now, Filecoin lost the trend uh, on this trend line, as you can see, on 22nd July. Now, this trend started all the way back on the 5th of, what was it? 5th of July. Okay, yeah, 5th of July. Uh, and for a little bit more than two weeks, trended upwards. And then it broke that trend. And yeah, it fell down to this weekly support at about $4.10. And uh, since, you know, a couple days ago, or yesterday actually, uh, it's been bouncing quite nicely. And now the next resistance is basically this trend line again, and this weekly resistance up here at about $4.92. Uh, that's kind of, you know, double resistance right there. We'll see if it can break it uh, on the first try or not. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, Filecoin is starting to take out basically this whole range uh, it does need to move up a little bit more, though. I would say once it clears about $4.80, um, then you're going to start to see it probably a, a little bit quicker moves upwards because we've just been down here since, well, we're in the middle of June, basically. So, yeah, we've been here more than a month, and, uh, yeah, we need to get out of this zone. So, let's see. After $4.92 would be $5.29 really to look at. Uh, on the weekly time frame, so that's going to be a little bit stronger resistance. Uh, on the daily time frame, that would be the next resistance up here at five dollars seventy-two cents, and then you have six dollars twenty-five cents on the daily, you know, time frame resistance. So, um, Bitcoin, on the other hand, it has been trending upwards. Um, we did get good numbers today economically, so uh, you can see PCE personal spending, uh, you know all of this Dallas Fed, PCE, Michigan numbers and things, all of this came in and uh, really helped the price of Bitcoin today. So you can see we are right now just trying to hang on to this level basically. Now I did say that this $300 zone here was going to be quite tough to break and we have broken it right now, but you can see that this candle, uh, this four hour candle right now is kind of, you know, putting downward pressure you know, on this line, basically, it's it's basically hugging this line at the moment. Now, this candle still has like almost the entire four hours to go. Now, keep in mind, this is also a daily time frame support. So we're looking at this on the wrong time frame. As long as we can maintain this on the daily time frame, then, you know, that's the, the key time frame to really close above, you know, that line. So um, if we can close on the daily above that line, excellent. But right now, you know, I just switched it to the daily. And, uh, yeah, it's just below that line right now. You can see it's just really below it. So we have, you know, gotten a rejection so far, but we still have plenty of time. So, uh, yeah, guys, on the weekly time frame, let's take a look at this in the weekly time frame. Now, look at this massive hammer candle. This is massive, guys. I mean, that is kind of beautiful to see. Um, you know, we went all the way back down to 63.5, and we've eaten that up like crazy. So really, really nice to see. I hope this turns to green. If it turns to a green, you know, candle, wow, that's even better. So let's see, guys. Um, yeah, that's basically all I got to say about Filecoin and Bitcoin at the moment. And, you know, like I said, numbers today were excellent. So that's good news. Anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.